Were you told you were shy? Do you identify as shy? Do you hate that word now? Do you just wish you could get over it and get on with your life? Welcome to Shining Beyond Shy, empowering you to create a greater life than you ever thought was possible. With your Shining Beyond Shy host, Fiona Cups. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Shining Beyond Shy with your host, Fiona Cups. So this week's episode I am calling Creating Your Life. And I guess it's quite appropriate. Nearly at the end of 2021, I guess I'll have next week's episode as well. And you know what? I'm not really a Christmassy person. Here I am in Antalya, where they don't really celebrate Christmas. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I don't actually have a Christmassy episode. Also, I'm actually having a lot of fun with my friend Eileen here. Um, so this is what got me to thinking about this week's episode, actually. And so I've known Eileen a while now. And actually, the first time I met her was this time last year when I was in Antalya. And <coughs> excuse me, I have a bit of a cough, cold, sneezing thing going on. My body's been cold since I got to Turkey from Egypt. So excuse me if I cough or sneeze. It's like I left doing this episode till kind of the last minute, hoping that I that the coughing and sneezing or asking for the coughing and sneezing to be less. So forgive me if there's a little bit of it. So she just said to me, you're talking a lot about the future. And of course, <laughs> being me and like most of us, I thought it was a wrong mess. And I just, I just asked her, oh, is there something you see I need to change with that? She's like, no, 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 it's just an observation. Um, what's going on with it? And then I realized, oh, oh, I'm actually willing to look at what I would like the energy of my life to be. And I was thinking back, so we were counting, it's actually 22 months since COVID started or since the big lockdowns, et cetera, started. And quite a while in fact now. And I was remembering how at the beginning, <coughs> oh, excuse me, at the beginning, I was pretty happy with being in um, Montenegro and hugging trees and spending a lot of time outside and it's like I did, I did do some work to create an online business, but basically I was waiting for things to go back to how they were. And then over the summer, I did actually travel and facilitate some classes. But then um, I guess last September, so September, no, maybe a bit later, November 2020, I chose to travel thinking that it would be difficult to facilitate classes in person and with the intention of setting up an online business. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'll go to these places and I'll have all the time in the world to create my online business. How does it get better than this? And some of you know, I've created crazy adventures, first of all in Mexico and then in Albania, didn't really enjoy traveling in those places. And for that reason, wasn't really able to get on with creating my online businesses in the way that I desired to. But basically, what I realized was that I was kind of still in this space of waiting. Oh, I need to create an online business. Oh, I'll go somewhere where I have all the time in the world to do it. And I'll do it. And then at some point, I'll be able to do what I really like, i.e. live classes. And I'll have the online business set up so that the live classes don't cause me so much stress. That was kind of my thinking. But basically I was putting myself in situations where I didn't really know people, where I, I mean, not that I knew this before I went there, didn't really enjoy being in those countries. And that's not the space from which you can create. And some of you know that I created a lot of crap basically. So I often used to stay in apartments near construction zones and um, used to um, found myself in places that I didn't like. And yeah, just uncomfortable apartments where I couldn't relax. And it was all very full on and difficult. And when I look at it now, it's like basically I was just in this space of, you know what, I'm going to force it through. I'm going to create my online business and I'm going to have, going to put all my time into it and it will work out. And I realized that something very, very different is required. 
And I've been asking, hey, what's the energy of my life? What energy would I like to have in my life? And so back in October, November, I was in Zagreb and I was dancing. So some of you know that I absolutely adore dancing. And I've had a few occasions since there. So Zumba on the beach in Egypt and a few other occasions where I've danced in a group. <coughs> but basically in Zagreb, there was the opportunity to dance in an organized group. And I just loved it. So I'm like, that is gonna be in my life. I'm gonna have dancing one, two, three times a week. I have to have that. And then the other thing that I know that I require is um, access consciousness bars and body work. So I'm just in Turkey here with my lovely friend Aylin, been here four days and received three bar sessions, one body work session. And honestly, so over the last 22 months, there have been times where I've received bars most weeks, many times when I haven't received bars at all, and occasional times where I've received more than once a week, but that's been the the exception. And so when I used to live in England, I mean, it was really rare for me to not have bars and body processes two or three times a week. And so having my bars run, I've just been like, oh my God, it's like when Aileen puts her hands on, it just feels like she's drilling down into my skull in a good way. And it's, <laughs> It's been amazing and I know it's changing stuff for me. And I'm like, yeah, I need to have that. I need to have those swaps with people. And not just that I need to have those swaps with people. I really am asking to hang out more with people who, or who, people who I really like, people who I can have fun with and people who are looking for more. So my friend Aileen fits all those categories and it's really, really fun being with her. And so this actually is the energy of the life I'm looking for. And it's funny because I was talking, I was receiving facilitation from a friend and, and I was like, well, I may stay in Egypt a bit longer. So when I was in Egypt, one of the places I stayed in was Luxor. And I was staying in this really spacious, luxurious apartment where everything worked, where I could do my computer work with ease. And literally you stepped out of the apartment onto the sand. And then it's, it's like a few hundred yards away, there was the Nile. And then there were all, all the animals. Basically it was like, they always called it the village where I was living. And it was like, you were just in nature as well as having the luxury, which I realized is actually what I like. I'm very keen on luxury, but I love being in nature. And I realized that I could easily stay in this place in Luxor for longer, that my, my body was just relaxing. I totally liked it. And my friend just asked me, hey, Fiona, do you realize that you've just told me what the energy of your life is? <coughs> the energy of your life is dance and bars and body work. And along with that, actually, there's like a vitality. So the thing in Egypt is that a lot of people are struggling with their incomes, they're struggling to make their lives work. And it's like people are looking to survive rather than thrive mainly. And there was I, you know, creating my business to thrive. And it's not always the easiest. It's like I was saying to my friend, oh, this is the kind of place where I could sit with a handsome man drinking tea, watching the sun go down into the Nile. Will that create the life and living that I'm looking for? <coughs> and is it alive enough for me? And what I realized is that there's an aliveness in Croatia, in Zagreb, that I've been missing. It's like the people are way more alive. And not that I met loads of people from dance, but I was like, oh, I, I could really enjoy some of these people. And there was possibilities to dance, not just once, but two or three times a week. It's like, oh yes. That's what I desire. So yes, Eileen, you were right. I am actually, I do have the energy of the future in my world. And it's funny, my friend, my lovely friend said to me, well, the great, I have Montenegrin residency now. And she's like, you know what? The great thing about having Montenegrin residency is that if the world goes more crazy and you need to just be able to be somewhere that's quite fun to be, you can always come to Montenegro. 
And I was like, oh, yes, that's true. I always have that, well, I have that possibility now for the next year. And actually I'm looking for something that's more alive, more awake, and that's what I require. It's almost like for a lot of us, there's been this sort of enforced sleeping time during COVID. And I didn't realize how much I was falling into that when I was say in Albania, didn't enjoy being in Albania. And my friend um, Eileen reminded me, she was like, well, why don't you come to Turkey? We could hang out and swap bars. And at that point in Turkey, it's, it's like it was much more restricted. So you had to wear a mask in the street and people were quite, um, don't say military, they were quite full on with it. And somehow I couldn't get myself to just say, yes, I'll come to Turkey. Um, even though my lovely friend would have been there. It's like somehow I got sucked into the kind of the inertia and the not really creating my life whilst telling myself that I should be able to create my life. So anyway, you're doing that. Really destroy and uncreate it. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 nine shots, boys, neons. And my sense is with the way things are on the planet that we need to be kind of moving forward with, well, we need to have a sense of what we're moving toward and be willing to take risks <laughs> to have it. So I could take the easy path, go to Montenegro where I don't spend much money, create my online business and stay safe. Or what I'm going to do is be in this place where I'm gonna spend more money, where I'm gonna really, really live and enjoy and trust, thank you body, trust that that will create the life, the living and the money flows that I require and desire. So what are you looking for in 2022 and beyond? And if you have no idea what you're looking for, one of the things you can ask is, hey, universe, show me the energy of my life. Show me what's true for me. And you can also ask, what can I add into my life that will be fun? What can I add into my life that will be fun and make me money? So I hope that's helpful for you. And actually this is going out on Monday. Today is Christmas Eve, but... Um, I still wish you happy Christmas. <laughs> I'm still happy to be away from all the crazy, I have to say. It's like here in Turkey, nobody's taking much food to serve it. What a great place for somebody like me to be for Christmas. Okay, beautiful people, I will see you next week. If you like this podcast, please like it. Sounds so funny to say that. If you like it, please share it. Let other people know about it. If there are people who you see not really creating their lives or who might want to know this information about what it means to create a life, please, please, please share it. Okay, beautiful people, see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I'm so grateful for you. It would be great if you could subscribe Great if you could leave a review wherever you're listening. And if you'd like some quick, simple tips to overcome shyness wherever you are, please go to my website, fionacuts.com, where you can download my free product, Five Steps to Overcoming Shyness Wherever You Are. Thank you again, and see you next time.